Hello guys, today we'll have Laravel Eloquent lesson based on an email I've received asking me for help. So you can pause this video and read it all, but I will summarize it for you. Here's a pivot table of order and products with another field of quantity ordered and the developer wants to view this. So amount of items per order in the order list. So basically calculate the sum of this field for a particular order ID. And that developer came up with really inefficient solution and they admit that very non-efficient solution. And that's great to admit your mistakes and to try to improve your code is always a good thing. So this is that non-efficient solution for each of the orders, assigning the values and returning that to the view and calculating that. So is there a better way? And there is, and in fact, actually there are two better ways or even three. And in this video, step by step, I will improve that code a little bit, then a little bit more and a little bit more. Let's go step by step. I have recreated that small project locally. So there's order model. And if we click that, there's belongs to many to the product class with quantity ordered. And in the controller, I try to do almost the same thing. So for each of the orders, we calculate the items. And then in the blade of index without any design, I'm just viewing the orders with order items calculated from the controller. And the result of that is this page, this one. So total price for X items, that total price is inside of the table itself. So if we look at the database, here's the order table, total price is in cents. And then there's order product with quantity ordered. I've seeded 10 random orders with three products each and quantity ordered random from one to five. So some calculations and how to make this calculated in a better way. First, let's talk about the elephant in the room. How many queries do you think that code produces? Database queries. That order products is called without so-called eager loading. So for each of the products of that order, there is a query to the database. So in total, there's 11 queries. So select from orders is one query. And then for each of the products, there's a query to the database. The script is still quick because it's only 10 products, 69 milliseconds, but still too many queries to the database. So first thing we can improve, is do this order with products and then all changes to get. Okay. And we refresh and we have two queries now, one query for the orders and one query for all the products that include those order IDs. That's already first improvement. And then if you're happy with that code, you can proceed with that. It still works. But next let's try to eliminate that for each altogether. And there are two ways to do that. First is to calculate the items on the collection method in the result in the blade directly. So instead of having order items, you can do order products and we'll load the products with eager loading from the controller. Remember sum, and then sum of what pivot dot quantity ordered items. So let's comment out all that for each and let's see if nothing broke refresh the result is the same two queries and we calculate the amount of items from the collection so for each replaced with one line in the blade so we can remove it all together and controller is pretty now but there's one thing we can do even better the current problem is that we load all the products although what we actually need is quantity ordered just one field so we don't care about order ID or product. We just calculate the sum of that. So we're loading too much data without really needing all of those 40 models. So we load 30 models of product, although we don't really need them. We need just to calculate the sum. So to calculate the sum, there's a new function in Laravel called with sum. For a long time, there was with count available, but since Laravel 8.26 from what I remember, there's with min, with max, with average, and with sum. And in this case, there's a thing that you may not know how to use with sum. So you can do with sum of relationship name and then the field. It could be like product price, for example. But also you can calculate the sum from the pivot table by not just pivot price, that wouldn't work. What you can do is to specify the name of order product table and not the price, it should be quantity ordered. And then let's see what that orders return, DD orders, refresh the page. 
like this, 10 items in the array. And what we care about is attributes. And here's what the attribute is, products. So name of the relationship, then sum, and then long, long name that consists of order product dot quantity ordered. So it's similar to the original documentation relation function column. That column becomes pretty complex, long name, but it still works. So what we can do is just copy the field name from here into the index blade like this items. Then we can remove DD and let's try it out now. Refresh. The result is the same, but now we load only 10 models of the order and we don't load all the products. We just calculate the quantity sum, which is exactly what we need. So these are three tips on how to improve that code from the email. You can email me your questions and your situations directly to povilas at laraveldaily.com. I don't promise to answer to anyone. I will pick the questions that are useful, I think, for broader audience to shoot a video about them. Or if it's a one line answer that I can point to some documentation, I can also do that in a few minutes. So I apologize if I can't help everyone. My time is really limited. But if you have a question that you think would be useful to other audience on YouTube, like this thing, I think this question was pretty useful because many to many relationships and various calculations is a really typical scenario in all the projects. So you can email me your questions and you can also support my mission of daily videos and answering your questions and helping you by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen and every purchase there gives me more time to shoot free daily videos on YouTube. See you guys in other videos.